Hey, hey, good afternoon. How is everybody doing? Talerio Watkins here again uh, with another video on Branding University, you guys. Um, I plan on doing a um, full series on Branding University, um, a mini series, right, that's going to cover um, each of the five principles that we teach in Branding University, uh, BACS. So, uh, I did a little overview yesterday, uh, but I want to dig in just a little bit deeper on each one of the points. Um, so just as a review, uh, BACS stands for brand, branding, um, audience, connections, knowledge, and sales. And so those are going to be the main principle uh, points that we teach and talk about in Branding University. So hold tight you guys I am going to uh, share this out to um, my profile and then we can get started right away so give me just one moment please Just one moment and we are going to be ready. All right, awesome, awesome. So before I get started, you guys, I'm Talerio Watkins, uh, coming to you from Black Lick, Ohio. And I was a science teacher for uh, 17 years. Now I'm gonna uh, go back to that on a, on a regular, regular basis uh, because I believe it is super important, right? <laughs> one of the things, that um, I used to not believe, right, how important it was. I remember going to an interview. Um, I was trying to change careers and I went and did an interview at Anheuser-Busch. Um, it's a brew company, you know, Anheuser-Busch brew company here, but they have a branch located right here in uh, Columbus, Ohio. And so during the interview, as the guy was asking me, you know, what type of uh, managerial experience do you have? Um, you know what types of um, leadership experience do you have I would always go back to um, my time uh, being a teacher and I almost felt you know like inadequate in terms of um, the the experience and the knowledge that I acquired being a teacher um, but I mean I managed five different um, sessions of over 30 kids um, on a regular basis day in and day out um, and you had to make sure, you know, that those 30 kids stayed in their seats and paid attention to what was going on. Hey, Marcus, thanks for dropping in, man. And so um, I had really strong, right, managerial experience, but I, I uh, kind of discounted it because it was, you know, teaching and it wasn't in an industrial um, setting like the Anheuser-Busch plant was. And so um, one of the things that I want to make sure that I do is um, definitely, definitely uh, talk about the years of uh, teaching experience that I had and how I'm going to bring that teaching experience um, into the online marketing world, you guys. Um, I am able to take complex topics and break those topics down so that they are more easily understood. I, I, I'm able to bring in real world experience, um, real world examples, and hopefully give you um, ideas that help you understand uh, these topics better. And so that's definitely one of the things um, that I will always, always uh, try to do. And you can definitely always, always ask questions um, in in my sessions on my videos. So listen, um, I want to 
go back to, you know, my, my original um, way that I taught when I began teaching um, was to always talk from notes, right? Because I want to make sure um, that I'm hitting very key uh, points and that I'm, I'm making sure that I bring home the points and the, the topics and the tips that I want you all to get. And so, um, like I said, I'm planning on doing a series about the five principles we teach in Brandon University. Um, I gave a slight overview yesterday and I want to take the next few days to really dig in on each principle individually. So today we're going to take a deeper dive into the B um, for backs. And we, we came up with this or we didn't come up with it, right? Um, our, um, our CEO um, of Brandon University uh, came up with this acronym for the five principles that we teach. The B stands for branding. And so what I want to talk about today is why branding is important. So yesterday I talked about um, how you already have a brand. Um, even if you don't know it, you already have a brand. Uh, whether you like it or not, right? People have a perception of you based on what they see or hear you do, right? What, 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 they, what they see you do, what they hear you say, um, people have a perception of who you are. Hey, Levine, thanks for dropping in. Appreciate it. And you guys, perception is what brands you. Your perception or people's perception of you is what brands you. One of my first principles um, when I was a teacher, one of my head principles um, came to me one day and he was saying, you know, Telerio, um, people's perception is more important than you think it is. Um, who you are is actually 90% perception and 10% reality. That's how huge perception is. Who you are is 90% people's perception of you and only 10% reality. So what people see you do um, is what your brand could ultimately be. And so you want to make sure that you control your brand. Your brand is you. Your brand is you. It's not your company. It's not your products. I mean, you've heard that, right? So people join people not opportunities. And so the reason that branding is, is, is important is because you have to brand yourself um, as someone that people actually want to join. You have to be someone other people want to follow. Are you building your brand or are you allowing it to be built for you by other people's perceptions? And the great thing is, and this is one of the, this is a key, you can control people's perceptions by what you put out. You can control people's perceptions of you based on what you put out in the marketplace or on social media. And that's the part that people struggle with. What are you putting out? Remember yesterday I talked about the college students who uh, lost their jobs or didn't get hired because of social media posts that they had made. More recently, Public officials have been uh, forced to resign because of social media posts and public perception, right? They've allowed what they put out to create a perception of them, and it was a negative perception. It was a horrible perception. I don't want to call out any public officials, but you all know exactly um, who they are, and they've either had to resign or they lost their jobs. Um, you can create your brand by taking control of the content you decide to put out. What are you putting out? 